Come with me, toy fans. Hey toy fans, my name is Tony and as always, welcome back to the Analog Toys YouTube channel. Now, we've got a, a gift box unboxing today. This is not a mystery box. I do know what's in here, um, but this arrived uh, last week. Um, I was busy away for the weekend for my mum's 70th birthday, so I haven't had a, a chance to open it yet. Uh, but yeah, this is a gift box from a keen viewer of the channel. Um, uh, I've got the box open already, so I don't really need the, the cutter here. So. Um, Let's get this out. Ah, oh, and we have a letter, so um, let's read the uh, let's read the letter. Hey Tony, as mentioned in my email, I really enjoy your YouTube videos, and I wanted to send you this to show my appreciation for the work that you do. Well, thank you very much. Uh, got, sorry, guys, I should have said this is from uh, the keen viewer of the channel. This is from Mark in the United States. Um, when this item first came out, I bought two. I opened one for display and left the other sealed. I'm sending you the sealed one to open. I'm glad you said that because I want to open this. Uh, I know this figure will look great in your collection and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks, Mark from the USA. Much appreciated, Mark. Really do appreciate that. Um, I'm, I, and I'm, I'm really glad. Uh, let's, let's, let's get this out so you guys can see what we're talking about here. Mark has sent me... Can anyone see what it is yet? I do need the knife, see. Might have to do a time-lapse video here. This is taking ages. Okay, if you haven't figured this out yet, Mark has sent me from the Star Wars Retro Collection We've got the uh, Escape from Death Star game with the carded Grand Moff Tarkin figure inside. How cool is that? Now, I did a video a while ago about the, uh, the Star Wars Retro Collection. I didn't do a review. I don't have any of the Star Wars Retro Collection. It was more to do, I think, I, I can't remember what I called the video. Uh, it was something about, you know, um, the, just the whole madness that was going on around the the retro collection when it first came out. Now, I will say that of all the figures they brought out, they brought out six, which I think was uh, Leia, Han, Luke, Chewie, the Stormtrooper and Darth Vader, um, released on single cards. I've, I've got all those vintage, so I had no interest in acquiring those. The one figure that really did interest me was Grand Moff Tarkin, because it was never released by Kenner back in the day, a, a massive, massive omission on their part. Uh, that's one figure that I think all of us as kids really, really wanted was uh, was a toy interpretation of, of Peter Cushing uh, playing that role of Grand Moff Tarkin. Um, yeah, so of all the different figures, this was the only one I was really interested in getting. But unfortunately, Hasbro packed it in with this big board game as well. And, well, yeah. <laughs> to acquire this figure, you had to spend a lot more than... The cost of the other figures to get the board game uh, but this is as i said this has been very very kindly sent to me uh by mark thank you again mark um so i suppose i'm gonna i'm gonna get this out and um perhaps do a quick review of the figure and and my thoughts and and possibly even the the board game as well i'm actually interested to know if the whole board game fits in this box or if there's a box inside the box so here we go i'm, I'm gonna open a mint and seal box toy here um, but I want to get the figure out and I want to put the figure on my display and Mark did say in his letter that he wanted me to open this because uh, he opened his from Hasbro Gaming um, also obviously got the um, got the Disney license there as well okay the box is quite nice yeah, so as I expected, it's not a box inside a box. It's the original, um, the original board game. But this is what we're here to look at. This is what we're here to see. This is quite nice. Grand Moff Tarkin. Look at that. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people have complained about the retro collection stickers. Um, they're pretty easy to remove guys uh, I, 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 there's lots of different techniques around there but what i actually use is um 
orange oil and what we in the UK call a cotton bud. I think Americans call it a Q-tip. Uh, but you, get a, you can get a small bottle of like a pure orange oil, um, usually from your pharmacy. Um, and orange oil, that just eats up the, um, uh, the adhesive that's on the stickers and you just slowly peel it back and it will basically yeah, eat away the adhesive and not damage the card. So I'm probably gonna remove the retro collection sticker from the, from the front of mine. Uh, but you'll also see there, um, they've introduced this kind of weathering edge uh, around it. I suppose it's good for, um, certainly if, if people take the original, um, original, if they take the retro collection figures that were based on original figures like the Luke Skywalker or, or, or whatever and they do remove the sticker. Um, I mean, most collectors will know um, this is a reproduction, but obviously giving it this, this sort of we these weathered edges um, makes it very easily identifiable um, as, as a, a reproduction, even if it is a licensed reproduction. But this is a, this is a really nice figure. I do quite like this. Ooh, will he stay on the card or won't he? Will he come off the card? I like the grey pattern there of the uniform. Um, the paint applications on the boots looks quite good. Um, the likeness isn't spot on, but then again, none of the figures in the original line were, were spot on. Uh, the weapon looks very nice. I have heard that these retro collection figures don't hold their weapons very well, but obviously when he's sitting here in, in the bubble, it doesn't really matter. Um, and I think the image there of Peter Cushing is pretty good. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a bad image from, from the movie. Uh, the back of the card, uh, the similar artwork that was on the original 12-back figures, but obviously there's only the, the six of them on there. Um, so, and as it says, the Star Wars retro collection is inspired by the 1970s Star Wars figures and features original figure design and detailing. Continue your collection from the galaxy far, far away. Uh, well, I will generally continue my collection by collecting vintage. Um, as you all know, I don't have any issue with reproduction, but I am a, a vintage collector, but collect what you like. Um, but I'm, actually, I'm, I'm really, really pleased with this, Mark. Um, I think he's gonna look great in my, in my display cabinet alongside my Smith Lord Creations figures and even my original carded figures. I only have a few, uh, but I do have some original carded Star Wars figures and he's gonna look fantastic in there. This is, um, this is a really nice piece. I really appreciate this, Mark. Um, and I suppose while we're here, I, I, I do wanna get the board game out, but I don't wanna open up, so like all the cards, um, the Death Star blueprint cards there. Uh, so they're all still, um, still sealed in plastic. So I don't really wanna go and open them. I don't really wanna punch all the figures off the card. I wanna kinda keep this as, um, as original as possible. Um, but usually when we were kids, the best part of any board game was the actual board itself. The artwork was normally pretty cool. So let's, uh, let's take a quick look. Oh, and I wasn't wrong. Man, I was not wrong. Look at those images there of the, um, the X-Wing fighter, the Millennium Falcon. We got some, uh, some stormtroopers there in the middle. The trash compactor in the bottom corner is like when you play Monopoly and you, uh, you go to jail. And they got the trash compactor instead. Yeah, this is a really, this is a really nice retro piece. I, uh, I quite like this. Not sure that I have the room to display it, but, um, but all the same, I do like it. Yeah. I'm pretty chuffed with this, Mark. Thank you very much. I do really like this. Uh, I do like this figure. This is excellent. This is going to go really well with my, um, now that I've got the duo of Han in Stormtrooper and Luke in Stormtrooper from Smith Lord Creations, um, from, and obviously those characters in their outfits from the Death Star, and now we've got the Grand Moth of the Death Star, Grand Moth Tarkin. So, um, all right. Thanks very much, guys. Um, Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video coming pretty soon. Ah, I'm gonna, I'll give you a quick update. We've got a very different video coming this weekend, still toy based, um, but I'm going to be reviewing a modern um, high-end collectible 1-6 scale figure this weekend. Uh, I'll explain the whole story in the video, but stay tuned. Um, I'm hoping to get that filmed like 
Friday, Saturday, and then probably drop on the Patreon on Sunday, all going well. So um, it's going to be a really, really good video. I'm really looking forward to filming this one. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Mm -hmm.